You see, what I didn't realize at the time was that God was really protecting me. All of the rejection, all the things that didn't work out how I thought they should have worked out. God was keeping me. And I'm thankful about that. I'm so thankful about that. Hey everybody, it's Rhonda live here. I'm so excited that you decided to watch this video because I have decided to do a series on the road to I do. That's right. If you didn't know, I am engaged to be married to an awesome, amazing, wonderful man of God. Uh, I believe God made him just for me and I'm really excited about the journey that we're going to have together and everything that the Lord has planned for us. So I decided to do a series so you can follow me through the process and you can know everything that's going on with me during this journey. Um, but before I even get to the details of the series, I want to give you a little bit of background information that maybe um, be some encouragement for you. So the road to I do before I even got engaged started a long, long, long time ago. I'm talking about so long ago, elementary, middle school, when I found myself very sad and upset because I didn't understand why the guys at the school wouldn't want to come talk to me. I remember very vividly being in middle school and I would be at church and I would hold back my praise to God because I didn't want to mess up my flawless face or my outfit because a guy that I liked was in the audience. Um, I even felt like sometimes I was under a rock, like I was hidden as if nobody really cared um, what I was doing. And then of course thoughts like that led to depression, thoughts like that led to low self-esteem. I got to a point where I didn't even want to live. No, I didn't want to kill myself, but I wanted God to kill me, which was nothing but the trick of the enemy trying to take me out. But he is defeated, and as I always say, God is exalted. So in 2004, when I was in college, I decided um, through the unction of the Holy Spirit to start a nonprofit called Finding Your Heart Incorporated. And the nonprofit is for young ladies, middle school, high school, college age and above. And it helps young ladies find purpose and vision for their life. So literally the Lord was setting me up to surround me with positive young women that could impart in me and I can impart through them. And we base everything that we do on Psalms 37 and 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So prior to that, I had decided to just surrender everything to God. My mind, my body, my soul. I didn't care anymore who didn't want to be in my life. I didn't care anymore who saw me praising the Lord, who saw me worshiping the Lord. I was determined to say yes to God no matter what. Since then, of course, I haven't done everything right. I made a whole lot of mistakes, but... <laughs> It's all under the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's under the blood. And I've had some people come in and out my life. People talk about me. People say different things. But God has sustained me. So just as a word of encouragement, as an introduction to the videos to come and songs to come. Yes, songs are going to come out of this as well. I just want to tell you that my current state, where I am right now, is just a mere reflection of God's grace and mercy extended towards me and his glory being revealed. Hallelujah. So, the road to I do is a little rocky. It gets a little lonely sometimes. You're not even sure if God is going to sometimes fulfill his promises, but he is faithful to fulfill every promise that he's spoken over your life. So, as I journey on, I want you to remember this, this one word, spot. My sisters, some of you, my brothers, just remember spot. We look at spot sometimes as something that's bad, that gets on white clothing and dirties it up, or something that you can't get out of. But all spots aren't bad. You can have a spotted tie, you can have a spotted dress, and it be very hot and fashionable. So spot. S is spend time with God. Spend time with God like it's the only thing you can do for an entire day. He is our creator. 
He is the one who made us, and he is the one that can direct us in our lives. I had to learn how to spend time with God and still learning how to spend time with God. P is practice taking care of yourself, whether it's going to the gym, beginning to eat right, beginning to meet other people. Practice taking care of yourself because that's a part of your health. O is optimism is essential for your growth. Stop hanging around negative people. If they're negative, you just have to pray for them, smile, hug them, and move on. Optimism is essential for your growth. T is trust that God's plan for your life is perfect. He knows what's best for you. According to Romans 8 and 28, all things are working together for your good because you simply love him. I know sometimes that it's easier said than done, but if you've got to write out these things, spot, every single day and say it every single day, it's gonna work out for you. I'm a witness that your words have power. So I hope that you continue to journey with me on uh, this road to I do in this series that I'm doing. A lot of you have been asking me, texting me, calling me, messaging me to uh, wonder if we set a date. Well, the answer is yes, we have set a date and I'm so excited. And if you really wanna know what the date is, you need to like this video and you also need to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, like and subscribe so you can know more details about my road, our road to I do. I love you so much, I'm so excited and um, more videos will be coming soon. Subscribe.